guys, welcome back to The Stimulus. I'm Steph Ellis, and today I am doing my very first unboxing video. So, what is it I'm unboxing, you might be asking? Well, it is my very first Stembox, yay! Uh, for those of you that don't know, Stembox is a thing that is just starting up. It's kind of like Loot Crate or Nature Box. And what it is, is you can have a monthly science experiment shipped to your door. If you have a young daughter, it is specifically geared towards girls um, to get them encouraged in the sciences. So when I heard about it, of course, I had to reach out and ask them if I could not only mess around with it, but promote it. So I'm very excited. Um, they are not out yet. They will be shipping sometime in June, but it is not too late to order it. I will include a link in the description down below so you can check them out if you want to. Um, but with that, let's crack this puppy open. Sharp objects. Always handle with care. We have a STEM box card with Christina McAllister's business card, the STEM box founder. Really awesome person. On this business card, she has all of her uh, STEM box stuff. Uh, so I will include that information down below in the description. So go ahead and check that out. All right, so we have the card, but it's got the uh, procedure on it. And the first experiment is a strawberry DNA extraction. Oh, look at the little stickers. Oh my God, look how cute these little stickers are. These adorable. Yay. Okay, so we have a little tube rack that's um, cardboard, so that's awesome for your test tubes. We have some very stylish purple gloves, two sets, gauze, microfuge tubes, one pipette, isopropanol and DNA extraction buffer. Oh my gosh, it's a little DNA temporary tattoo and a little DNA button. How cute are those? I'm expressing myself at Enzo Life Sciences Band, which is, you know, always good for every outfit. Test tube, plastic baggie, one funnel, and safety glasses because safety first. Okay, so the first thing, the only thing that you need for this experiment is a strawberry. Luckily for me, I have several strawberries and they will appear right here. Perfect, okay. All right, hair is going up because we mean business on the stimulus. Very glamorous. Yes, okay, brilliant. All right, so the gloves won't fit my monster ogre hands, which is fine, um, but I'm going to go ahead and get started, but always do safety first. So if you don't have a pair of gloves, don't be doing what I'm doing. A good scientist always make sure she, uh, she and everyone around her is safe before beginning any experiment. Make sure you have a clean workspace and to put on your safety gloves and glasses. Gloves don't fit. I will deal with it. But since nothing is like too corrosive looking, I think I'm gonna be okay. Okay, put it in the plastic bag with as little air as possible and mash thoroughly. Destruction, always good times. All right, it's a Monday, so I am going to take out all of my Monday aggression on this strawberry. Mash the strawberry thoroughly, mashing the strawberry well is important because you want to get as many individual cells as you can out of the strawberry so you can get more DNA. I feel like this is helpful. It is making really gross noises. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say that's thoroughly mashed. Okay, pour about one tablespoon of DNA extraction buffer into the plastic bag with all of your strawberry mush and continue to mash the strawberry. Be sure to mix your strawberry and DNA. Okay, so the buffer, taking the buffer, I'm going to dump about one tablespoon. So I am terrible at estimating um, one tablespoon, so I took a tablespoon tablespoon that I don't particularly care for because it's been in the garbage disposal before on accident and I'm going to use this and measure out about one tablespoon. All right, so adding the buffer to my strawberries. Perfect. Gorgeous. So pour it in and then be sure to mix really well. So what exactly is this extraction buffer? Um, it is just dishwashing soap mainly salt, meat, tenderizer, and a little bit of water. So I'm not super worried about the fact that I got a little bit of it on my hands, but yeah, um, always wear the gloves. Safety first. And we're mixing and we're mixing. Okay, so putting this dish soap helps break down cells so they can release DNA inside of them. Salt and meat tenderizer help DNA strands find other DNA strands and make a big clump of DNA in your mix that you can see. It also removes other parts of the cell from your DNA. Water in the mixture just gives everything more room to swim around so it won't be as crowded. Okay. 
Okay, so place place a funnel lined with gauze into the clean test tube. Pour the strawberry mixed with DNA extraction buffer into the funnel lined with gauze and squeeze the mixture through the gauze into the funnel, only collecting about three milliliters. This step removes big chunks of strawberry cells that have popped to release their strands of DNA. Only small pieces of the strawberry, like DNA, will be able to squeeze through the holes in the gauze. This makes it easy for us to take only the parts of the strawberry, like the DNA, that we want. Okay, so we're gonna go with good enough. It looks like something I would eat, but I probably shouldn't. Okay, so perfect, so we got three. Save the filtered remains, toss out the used gauze, save the funnel for future experiments. This is the part of the strawberry that has our DNA. Okay, so, all right, so I'm gonna go throw this out real quick. Be right back. Okay, so awesome. So now you have a funnel for future experiments. Yay, awesome, way cool. Okay, that over there. Now my hands smell like strawberries. Very gently pour 10 milliliters of isopropanol into the tube with your strawberry DNA extract. Okay, so now it's a little bit easier because I just have to get it up to a little bit too much so we're gonna go with 14 because i accidentally did a little bit more strawberry than i was supposed to so it's actually at four milliliters so we're gonna go with 14 milliliters because i can do math Invert your tube several times until you begin to see a clump of pink white matter that what you see is dna the isopropanol you added to the DNA mixture helps DNA strands to recognize other strands of DNA in the mix and get them stuck together. Ooh, I see the clumps! I do, I see them! That's way cool! Okay, yeah, I see my clumps of DNA forming. How way cool is that? On its own, one strand of DNA is too small for your eyes to see, but with thousands and millions of strands, the DNA becomes visible to your eyes. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it, so I'll get closer. All right, so I wanted you to be able to see the strands a little bit better. So as you can see, you can see that something solid it's forming in the test tube. Way cool, man. So that's the clumps of strawberry DNA. Awesome. All right, so meanwhile, back at the ranch. Okay, so we want to figure out one on microfuge tube here. You look right paw oh, to be held. This is very handy. So we're gonna get it out with our wooden, very skinny popsicle stick. Okay, use the pipette, fill the microfuge tube with isopropanol, keeping our DNA and isopropanol will keep it clean and healthy to last for years to come. Woo! Alright, so how cool is that? You have officially extracted your own, your very own strawberry DNA, and you can see it in your tube and you can keep it for years to come as a souvenir. And the last step even tells you, admire your hard work. You have successfully extracted DNA from a strawberry. Feel free to show off your strawberry DNA on your favorite necklace, bracelet, or even keychain. Just make sure to get your parents help secure the lid from opening and spilling. So probably super glue. But yeah, isn't that awesome? So there you have it. So first impressions of the stamp box, I totally dig it. I love the concept. I love the experiment. I think it was something that um, is not so over the head of a little kid that they couldn't understand it. Um, it gives you all sorts of resources to go to on um, the procedure card where you can go learn more and it directs you to their website. Um, I think this is definitely something super awesome to get young girls interested in STEM careers and kind of get them thinking about science. If nothing else, it's just a really fun thing that would be really great to do with your daughter. I enjoyed doing it and I am a 25 year old woman with an aerospace engineering degree. So chemistry was uh, not my I enjoyed chemistry, but it wasn't like my career choice, but I had a lot of fun doing it. I would highly recommend it. For more information, uh, you can go to their website at mystembox.com. I think they're still taking orders. Um, like I said, the boxes aren't due out till June, but for 27 bucks, you can order this experiment. I think this is their very first one and they're kind of um, getting just getting started, but this was definitely something that I would recommend to any of my friends that have young daughters that are even kind of interested in science. And even if they're not, it's like I said, it's just a good time. I had a lot of fun doing this and being a dweeb and geeking out. And it's just a really fun little kit. And yeah, I, 
I had a blast. So I will include links to all of the STEM box social media uh, down below off of the business card that was in the box, which I don't know what I did with, but it's around here. I think it's on the chair. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. It was a really great experiment to do. I had, there's a lot of really cute little freebies that come with the box, like little cute stickers. And I got a DNA button and a temporary DNA, uh, temporary tattoos, the double helix. It's just, uh, yeah, this is, this is awesome. This is something I wish that I had as a kid. Um, 10 out of 10 would recommend. And yeah, so that was my first impression and my first unboxing video. So if you're into sciencey things and you want to see more videos like this, feel free to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm putting out STEM videos every week, including my Twist STEM or This Week in STEM videos every Saturday to cover all STEM news that goes on throughout the week. So if you find any really cool STEM stories throughout the week, feel free to tweet them at me at stephabs43 on Twitter using the hashtag twist them and they might show up in this week's video. Huge thank you to Christina McAllister and everybody over at Stumbox for sending me my box early. I am so excited that something like this exists and I really love what you guys are doing. So um, yeah, this is awesome. So please go check them out. I will um, eventually update you guys. They are also working on a YouTube channel to where they will have tutorials for the experiments that they send out. Uh, that hasn't gone live yet, but once it does, I will be sure to update you guys and let you know. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, this was a blast and I will see you on Saturday for Twist Up.